Good morning, brothers and sisters. I am so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And I'm just Joe, no title. And today we're going to take a look at Peter walking on the water and why he fell. And so if you brought your Bibles today, turn to the book of Matthew chapter 14. And let me lay the stage. Jesus sends the disciples out on a boat and he goes up on a mountain and he prays. And he, when he comes back, there's a big storm out there in the middle of the sea and that's where the disciples are on this boat. And the disciples see Jesus walking on the water. They actually think it's a ghost and they're scared and fearful. And read it from verse 27. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Then Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee onto the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And he began to sink. You see, brothers and sisters, we always got to focus on Jesus. When Peter took his eyes off of the Lord, that's when he sunk. Amen? Amen. So now turn with me to the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus walk not after the flesh but after the spirit amen amen so brothers and sisters walking after the spirit and not the flesh is keeping your eyes on Jesus focus on the Lord and you won't fall because the devil wants to steal kill and destroy anything that is God's and if you are saved today you believe that God sent his only begotten son down incarnated in human form to die on a cross for you and me and you have repented of your sinful ways you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you are God's child God's chosen brothers and sisters many are called but few are chosen the ones that are called are called to accept Jesus as their Savior but the ones that are chosen choose to follow Jesus and make him their master, their teacher, their example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, I hope that's you today and I hope that you're filled with the Holy Spirit because that's your down payment to salvation. Because salvation doesn't happen until Jesus takes up the church and marries the virgin church because he's the groom and we're the virgin church. And salvation is keeping from harm total destruction sent to hell where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth and being tormented for eternity never having rest day and night brothers and sisters you don't want to go there and you're not going to go there if you're saved today amen amen if you're the chosen that choose to give up their lives for jesus he gave his life on the cross for you and me and in Romans 12, 1, it says, To present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen? Amen. And brothers and sisters, the word also tells us that your body is the temple of the Lord. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you if you're saved today. And he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 15, Know ye not that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? God forbid. So brothers and sisters, if you're saved today and you have that Holy Spirit in you, okay, you follow Jesus, obey Jesus, and with the power and mighty Holy Spirit that's inside of you, when the devil tempts you, you rebuke him in Jesus' name he will flee he cannot stand the name Jesus and you will conquer sin as Jesus conquered it on the cross with the blood of Jesus amen amen so brothers and sisters always remember
to keep focused on the Lord. Keep your eyes on the Lord.